but you cannot get that same peace of mind of a tiny 2.4 liter turbocharged platform. You can't. Ask any mechanic. Obviously, any Toyota brochure would maybe try to convince you otherwise. I think Toyota has rested on their laurels too much and rested on their accolades through the years of reliability for this new model here. Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So we often poke at the brand new 2024 Toyota Tacoma for a number of reasons, right? It's a four banger mid-size pickup truck, need I say more? Not to mention over $50,000 on average, no thank you. But in today's video, I wanna talk about Toyota's decision to move production entirely down to Mexico. We poke, we poke fun at that a little bit, but rightfully so. And in today's video, I'm gonna paint a clear picture of why that really is an issue and why we shouldn't be okay with Toyota doing that and deploying the price tags that they're deploying here in the States. So let me start with how much on average does Toyota pay an American employee, an American assembly line or production line worker here in the States. So down in Texas, the average hourly wage is $15.22 an hour. Right, so $15, just over 15 bucks an hour. I have read a few different reports that indicate that it might actually be a little bit higher than that now, teetering towards 17 bucks. But to play it safe, $15.22. Down in Mexico, Toyota pays their employees $2.70 an hour. So we'll, we'll play nice in this video and we'll chalk it up to $3. We'll say they're paying them $3 an hour on average for their assembly line or production, or production line workers down there. They're literally paying one fifth one-fifth of what they were paying American workers here in the States, here in Texas. So I find that to be pretty appalling that they have moved production of this vehicle that they're selling predominantly in the United States and they're paying pennies on the dollar by comparison. Pennies on the dollar, literally pennies on the dollar compared to what they're paying American workers who took pride in building this vehicle down in Texas. But now we're sending it down to Mexico just so they can save a ton of money, which I wouldn't be as upset about it if we saw those savings. I don't know about you guys. I, I think I would be I think I would be okay with it if they actually offered up that new Tacoma here. You know, it had the four banger in it. We don't love that. But if they offered like the brand new TRD, TRD Sport and TRD Off-Road for about 40,000, maybe high 30s, and we saw some of those savings that Toyota is seeing right now, then I think I'd, I would be less critical of it. But we have seen a huge upcharge for that new generation Tacoma, right? A huge upcharge. Now we're looking at TRD Sports that cost over $50,000 easily. Same goes for the TRD Off-Road. Even SR5s are teetering up toward $45,000. SR5s, base model SRs are 42, 41,000. That's crazy. Those should be high 20s at best. But here we are, especially now that they're paying $2.70 an hour for, for Mexican employees to actually build the things. So I find that pretty appalling. And well, don't even get me started on the TRD Pro, right? The TRD Pro is starting over $65,000. When just last year, one year ago in 2023, the 2023 Tacoma TRD Pro was just over $50,000. We're looking at 51, maybe $52,000 because you can easily get maybe $1,000 or $1,500 off in a heartbeat, right? But here we are, about $15,000, $14,000 more for the TRD Pro one year later. And we don't even get a naturally aspirated V6 option. It's strictly a four cylinder. We only get the turbocharged four banger in our midsize pickup truck. And I think that is the biggest rub for a lot of people, right? People buy Toyotas for reliability and exceptional peace of mind. That's why we buy Toyotas. You don't buy, I, I bought this 5.7 liter V8 Tundra Tierty Pro for that reason. I know I could drive this thing for a few hundred thousand miles with minimal maintenance and minimal issue, right? I have full confidence in that. It's a naturally aspirated platform that is tested and, and, and proven at this point. I love that. But you cannot get that same peace of mind of a tiny 2.4 liter turbocharged platform. You can't. Ask any mechanic. Obviously, any Toyota brochure would maybe try to convince you otherwise. I think Toyota has rested on their laurels too much and rested on their accolades through the years of reliability for this new model here. And I think we're already starting to see some issues, some quality control issues with it. I'm sure you guys have seen them too. There's a number of videos just showing fit and finish, fit and finish issues with it, with you know glove compartment being rattling loose, you know, center console being wonky with it, the front grill shaking loose on them. So there's already some QC quality control issues that we're seeing coming out of Mexico, right? And it's not a dig at Mexico, right? Like it's just. They're not known for exceptional quality, right? They're not known for producing great vehicles. They, they don't have that reputation yet. Whereas in Japan, they absolutely do, right? I've, I've owned a number of Land Cruisers. I've owned a number of Toyota 4Runners built in Japan. I can tell you what, every single one of them has had exceptional fit and finish. Every single one of them, I've never had a single issue. All the body panel gaps were perfect. Exceptional reliability, never had any issues with the motor transmission. Everything was perfect that I've ever purchased out of Japan because they take tremendous pride. 
Toyota can build the facility, they can build the plants down in Mexico, but they can't expect the employees to share that same level of pride and passion in the product that they're building right? They, you just can't expect them to do that. Whereas in Japan, you can. And even in America, I would argue that our American employees take tremendous pride down in Texas building these vehicles, and yet we just kind of ripped that away from them. We ripped that away from them and threw it down to Mexico and saved tons of money, and we, the consumer, don't get to see those savings at all. And that's the frustrating part for me. Honestly, Mexico is uh, only more expensive per hour paying their wages down there compared to China and India. Think about that for a minute. Would you be okay with Toyota building your Tacoma over in China? Would you be okay with that? I, I for sure wouldn't be. I, th I don't think a lot of you would be either. But that's kind of the similar concept that we're seeing here. They're building them down there and just shifting them up over the border and we're paying a premium for it. And I find that pretty appalling. So I just want to kind of paint that picture for you guys because I think we are quick to jump to, oh no, it's not a good thing that it's built in Mexico. But this kind of shows that they're literally paying pennies on the dollar and we shouldn't be okay with that, especially how much you're charging for it, right? So I'll wrap up the video there. Just want to paint that picture for you. If you appreciate this type of content, as always, guys, I sincerely appreciate it if you consider liking and subscribing. Your support means a lot and it definitely doesn't go unnoticed. Till next time.